Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today's October 21st, and right now we're looking at the infrared satellite imagery. Can't miss it down here. We still have Hurricane Norma right over the top of Cabo as we speak. Some very heavy tropical downpours ongoing, lightning activity, some gusty winds, some big wave action here. So if you have not been hearing about this the last couple of days, hopefully this isn't the first time you heard about it. If you're traveling down to Mexico, some of the West Coast here in Cabo, definitely some heavy precipitation associated with Hurricane, still Hurricane Norma as we speak. But here for California, we've got a system moving in also. This is uh, much less uh, precipitation associated, but it's going to cool us down and going to bring some precipitation amounts with it, potentially all the way down through some of Southern California as well. We'll take a look at those details. We'll take a look at the extended forecast. We still have some big model disagreement between the GFS and the European model on if we're going to warm up as we go towards the end of October or if we're going to remain at or just below average. So we'll look at those details as we go through the video today. Hurricane warnings here for some portions of Cabo in the south portion of Baja here. Tropical storm. Um, if I scroll down here, you can see the what the key is here. Tropical storm warning in the blue and hurricane warning in the red there. And again, right over the top of Cabo as we speak. And you can see pretty good chance this area is experiencing tropical storm force wind speed probabilities, which is 39 miles per hour to 73 miles per hour. This is that precipitation. The control run had eight inches in a 24 hour period for the international airport there on the south tip of Baja. And the mean was over four inches in that 24 hour period. So some intense tropical precipitation occurring. And now back up towards California here, we've got a lot of prescribed burns out there trying to get rid of any of that fuel there for future fires. Not a bad idea, but it's still fire season out there. So keep your wits about you. There's still the potential for some of these fires getting out of control, but for the most part, they do a pretty good job with the prescribed burns. Looking at the visible satellite image this morning, the smoke isn't looking too bad out there. Maybe a little bit showing up there for some of the central Sierra Nevada here, but you can see the marine layer kind of pushing towards the Bay Area as I speak, but Southern California, nice and sunny this morning. You can also see that cloud shield from Hurricane Norma there casting a shadow across Mexico and Arizona this morning. Always fun to watch the GOES-18 satellite imagery. You can also see our next system off the coastline here that will be pushing in as we go through the weekend. This is the widespread light rain Sunday here. There's some interesting totals here up over a third of an inch. Not too bad. We will definitely take it. And this is for uh, Sacramento. Look at Stockton getting some measurable precip. Maybe the Bay Area here as well. The model's not showing quite this much here. So I hope the National Weather Service isn't out to lunch a little bit here. So kind of crossing our fingers that we do see these amounts across Central and Northern California. We look down towards Los Angeles. We have wind advisory here. We'll look at in a moment. We got beach hazard statements for some wave action as well. And this is that wind advisory. 50 miles per hour through to Sunday morning coming up here. Santa Barbara, Southwest Coast, Santa Ynez Mountains, and Western Range, all the way in through 9 a.m. Sunday. Again, gust to 50 miles per hour possible. And also dangerous rip currents, elevated surf 6 to 9 feet with local sets to 10. And this goes through this afternoon. Watch out west and northwest facing beaches. Take a look here at the maximum individual wave height. You can see the big waves associated with the hurricane down here. So yeah, pretty interesting conditions down there at some of the resorts there in Cabo. And then that should be waning here as we go on in towards the early portion of next week. We're going to continue some wave action down the coastline here with this next system and driving some strong winds down the coastline also. So heads up for that. And then we'll watch to see what this next storm system springs here off in through next week into the future. So this day in SoCal weather history, a water spout was spotted two miles southwest of North Island, 2004. And also 2007, check it out. Fire activity it is still that time of year here, folks. So keep your wits about you. Watch out. Make sure we're not starting any forest fires out there across the region or wildfares, uh, you know, uh, depending on what you call them. But anyway, look at uh, Reno, Nevada here. The cool down likely coming here, but still some good model disagreement between the GFS and the European on the extent of the troughing across the southwest USA. And I'll show you what I mean here in a bit, but also the cooling trend starting to show up here for Flagstaff. As you can see here, Prescott, Arizona, you can see the temperatures declining as we go on in through midweek, even a little bit of a chance of some precipitation for some areas of Arizona. Looking at last night's European run, so you can see uh, Hurricane Norma down here towards Cabo and then our System, moves across California and much of the southwest, cooling us down for a few days. And the European wants to keep the colder air bottled up to the north, across Pacific Northwest, and that allows some ridging to bump us back above average as we go through the end of the month here, as you can see. And that's where the end of the run of the European goes Thursday night. Now let's take a look at the GFS. This is hot off the presses. The 12Z run is running as we speak. There goes Hurricane Norma. There goes our trough good agreement in the short term. And then you can see the next system. And it's 
much more progressive. It moves much further south and over the Intermountain West here on the GFS. And you can see no ridging here for California, troughing, which would keep us at or just below average as we go through the end of October and kind of a reinforcing shot there on in through about October 28th. So interesting stuff here. And that's where the GFS uh, run ends as of right now. Like I said, it is running. So yeah, big disagreements on what's coming as we go through next week. Total precipitation in inches on the GFS is hot off the presses here. You can see the hurricane down there with its tropical moisture. And then you can see the precipitation amounts moving across the region here. Not bad. Maybe central northern California here. And again, Sacramento Stockton could get a bit of precip out of this. And some of the mountains of southern California as we go on in through Monday could squeeze out some precipitation amounts. Not a huge washout. Not a big atmospheric river anything to that nature. And you also see the potential for some precipitation as we go on in through Monday night and on in through Tuesday morning for portions of Arizona and New Mexico there as well. Now, taking a look at 80 meter wind speed, the NAM 3KM, those are the gusty winds we're talking about here, just off to the west and northwest of Los Angeles, Santa Barbara County out there, and watch as this system moves down. You can see these gusty winds emerge across some of the higher terrain here as well, these westerly winds. Uh, uh, marking that uh, colder, uh, cooler air mass, let's call it here, as we go through the weekend here. But those gusty winds, onshore flow, and some strong winds coming down the coastline over the next couple of days as well. And kind of go off into the future a little bit more there and look by the time we get to Sunday night. Some pretty impressive winds across the higher terrain. So heads up for that with this uh, upper level low moving down across the area, bringing much cooler conditions than the strong winds you can see go down the coastline all the way on in through Monday afternoon. That's when the NAM 3KM ends right there. Now looking at apparent temperature here so you can kind of see the NAM 3KM. I'm going to scroll through this a few times quickly and you can kind of see the diurnal cycle of how the deserts warm up here. The sunshine comes out, and then the overnight temperatures start to roll back in. So interesting stuff. You can see us warm up today across a lot of the areas, maybe 100 for thermal there. And then we bring things back down overnight, and then we warm things back up again a Sunday. But you can see not as much. The cool down is coming here. And as we go on in through Monday, shown here, you can see even further cooling across some of the areas. Downright nice and comfortable here across portions of the deserts, Arizona, the valley areas getting back up into the upper 70s here as well. So yeah, nice, nice little cool down here coming up. And then we'll kind of turn our eyes to what kind of system is going to move down across the Intermountain West, which model will win out, the European or the GFS. We're have some ridging and bump the temperatures up again or are we going to keep things a little bit on the cool side here as we go towards the end of the month all good questions things we will watch over the next couple of days so anyway hope you guys are enjoying the channel it's going quite well i actually ordered some california weather watch mugs i'll be giving those away here over the next few weeks as well so fun times ahead the channel's doing great you guys make this all possible i'll do my regular briefing tomorrow and i will talk to you guys then